So in my work in North London, I've been having a frequent problem in callbacks. Why do you think I'm failing? Are you using an insecticide? Yes. Well, what we're seeing is um, the insecticide resistance is becoming a really big problem. I've set up a little experiment. I'm just going to put 10 bed bugs into each of these dishes. And these dishes are all lined with a filter paper which has been treated with an insecticide. One dish holds modern day bed bugs. The other, a colony bred in isolation since the 1960s. So what I expect to see tomorrow is that these will have died. And if these haven't died, then I know there's a problem with my experiment. And then the question is, have the newly collected bugs died or not? Hello. Oh, good morning, Imogen. Come in. I was just taking a look at our experiment. The insecticide is a neurotoxin, so it affects their nervous system and it tends to paralyse them. And I'm happy to say that they look very sick today. They're either dead or dying for the most part. But not so with the modern-day bed bug colony. They're actually very happy. They're running around. They'd live on here indefinitely, I think. So this is the same formula of insecticide that I use. That's right. And they're still alive. They're running they around. Are, yeah. So that's why I feel I've been doing a, a job that's been a failure. It's a waste of time. That's really depressing. So if insecticides don't work, what is the hope for the future? People are already using heat treatments, uh, steam and vacuuming. Um, and, and these kind of, um, kind of physical treatment options are uh, impossible for bugs to evolve resistance to. The experiment used one kind of pesticide. Although new ones are being developed, this time Imogen's mind is made up. Well, I feel quite depressed by my meetings today. And therefore, with Charlotte's bed bug problem, I'm going to go back to Claire, who manages Alfie the dog, and ask her to arrange a heat treatment. 